You yeah? submit to God, yeah. So, so, so where is this living prophet that we're meant to submit to? Oh, no, no, we submit to the Creator, the all-living who never dies, God. But we follow the teachings of the messengers. The teachings of the messengers? So, for example, we would ha in the time of Noah, you'd have to follow, you'd have to worship one God. Yes. Yeah. But follow the teachings of Noah. Okay, okay, okay. Moses, same, Abraham, same, Jesus, when he was on earth, the people would have to worship one God and follow the teachings of Jesus. But the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who we say is the last messenger sent for all mankind, including me and you, he, he's passed away. He was a human being. But his teachings are still here. But God's still, God's spirit in it, so God's still here. God is, God is the ever living and he never dies. Oh, correct. So, yeah. so if there was a Christ before, that's what you say, uh -huh. you testify in, where is the Christ now? Where's the, where's the one vessel that we should listen to now? What, what do you mean by Christ? No, because you're saying, you're talking yeah. about a prophet that's died, yeah? Yes. Correct? Yes. So where is the living prophet? No. We worship, like for example, the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he passed away. Let me finish. Yeah. He passed away at the age 63. At the age of 40, the angel Gabriel came to him and delivered the message to him, okay? okay? And then for the next 23 years, he kept on continuing to receive revelation in the Qur'an. At the age of 63, once the revelation was completed, he passed away. When he passed away, the, his companions, they were in confusion, they were in a state of shock. So one of his very closest companions, his name was Abu Bakr. Abu Bakr, he went to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he kissed him and he said that you were sweet in your life, you were tayyib, you were pure in your life and you were pure no, after I mean, your death. Let me finish, let me finish. Then he went out to the people. This is, this is my point. When he went out to the people, he made an announcement. He said, whoever worships Muhammad, let him know that Muhammad has died. But whoever worships Allah, let him know that Allah is the ever living and will never die. So we worship Allah alone. We don't worship the Prophet Muhammad, we don't worship Jesus, but we follow the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, which are still here. So the teachings you're saying yes. are still here, but the Prophet is, your Prophet is dead. Yeah, he passed away. because he, he still he, worship um, yeah. you, Allah. Yes. Yeah. So where is that living Prophet that's meant to be walking the earth on behalf of God? that one vessel, okay. one media between man and God. When you, when you, you're talking about uh -huh. people that's been here yeah. and they're not here no more. Yes. And now I want to ask you, what do you do? What, what is the purpose of Islam? What is the purpose of um, going out, teaching the people? What are you teaching the people? You're teaching the people that your prophet's dead? Or you're teaching no. the people that, what, what is it exactly? We're teaching the people, as the Quran clearly states, the Quran states, you got talk English, brother. No problem. But this, but the the messengers, even Jesus didn't speak English. Yeah, but where's the messages yeah. today? Let me tell you. So the thing is, the message is preserved in the original language. So I'm going to tell you what it says in Arabic, then I'll tell you what it says in English. Brother, me, you are here right now. No problem. No problem. Where's the messenger right now? This is what I want to know. On Listen, behalf of God. The message first. You ask the purpose. The message is, oh mankind. Worship the Lord who created you and created those before you in order you may be successful. But there's always a vessel. There's always yeah. that one vessel. What's, Where what, is that what, one what do you, vessel? And, 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 what's your and evidence? Everybody? What's your evidence there should always be a vessel? What's my evidence? Yeah. The scriptures talk about it. You even talked about a prophet being here once. So there was only one prophet. No, no, no. But you, you, made, you made a very clear, like the Quran says, Kul Bring your proof if you are truthful. The, my, my, oh, but let me know. The Bible says, the Bible says, Prove all things and hold on to that which is true. So you have just said that there, there has to be a living vessel. Correct. So where does it say that? Where did you get that teaching from? It's all, it's all in the scriptures. Okay, but, and, it's and, all but, in the scriptures. So you should be able to tell me one place yeah, then. Yeah, and I'm tell me you, one place. This is it. Yadu Judah. This is it. Yeah, that, that's where, that's the... That's where you need to go. No, no, no. But in the Bible, where does the Bible teach you? Because you, 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 you follow the Bible? You, the, the, Bible, you study, the Bible is the will of God. You study the Bible, the book, no, the Bible. No, I don't study, the Bible okay. is the will of God. So how do you know what God wants from you? By the prophet, Yadu Judah. Okay. How do you prove he's a prophet? Because I know I can see he's a prophet. How? Because I can see him. You're telling me about your No, 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 you can, see, you can see him. I can see you. Oh, you can see works. me. By his works. Okay. His works. Give me an example of his works. He, he's doing the will of the Bible. Okay, explain. Okay, he's being um, crucified at the moment. People spitting on his name. Just that what he's done to Jesus that okay. you read in the Bible. He's been crucified, literally. 
you said you come across him on Clubhouse. Yeah, yeah, I've come across him on Clubhouse. Yeah. So, so you know, you know. I, I've, I've come across him, but I'm asking you more details about him because I don't know much about him. Okay. I saw him in debates mostly with Hebrew Israelites backwards yeah, yeah. and forwards, and eventually, I think he was kicked out of the room. But anyway, when you say he's being crucified, literally or symbolically? Literally being crucified. As in, but, 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 so he's on the cross at the but moment. Not physically, because this is a spiritual author. So it's not literal then, it's, it's no, metaphoric. Because no, the Bible is full of parables, uh -huh. and visions, and dreams. The so, Bible. So, so you, but you said the Bible is the will of God. Yes, the will. So are you talking about the Bible, a book of 66 books, or 73 books, or 80 books? Or are you talking about the will of God? The will of everything to do with God, all the books to do with God. Yeah. On top of that, it's an unsealed book. They're uh -huh. unsealed books. Only the prophet can unseal the books. Okay. So how do you know he's the prophet? Because let me tell you, the Quran and even the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he said, "Ana akhir nabi, la nabiya baadi." He said, "I am the last prophet, and there'll be no prophet after me." So for us, anyone who claims to be a prophet after the coming of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is a disbeliever and a liar. Yeah, but, but, but that's what's keeping you in bondage because you believe uh -huh. that a prophet's not coming. Uh -huh. But I'm telling you, the living Christ here is here now. But you have to earth. prove. But I'm asking you to prove that. But, but, not every, well, it does say in the scriptures that not everybody's going to see the living Christ. You know, the devil did deceive the whole world. No, but you should have some proof, isn't it? I've got the proof. I can see. I've got my eyes. I can see. I can see what oh, he's going so, through. So, you, he, he, so, your proof, so proof is something which you can't demonstrate. It's no, only it, personal it to you. Demonstrate. Okay, he, demonstrate it. But I'm asking you to demonstrate it. To demonstrate it. Yeah. But I'm telling you, he's living the scriptures. Yeah. He's going around. He's, he's unsealing the book. Uh -huh. He's breaking all, all these miracles. He's, he's opening people's eyes. People uh -huh. can now see, some people can now see uh -huh. that he's a living Christ. Okay, so, he's so show me that. Show you. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know, you understand something tangible evidence. Like, for example, when I say the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi is the last messenger, yeah. I'm going to tell you what the Quran says, I'm going to tell you what he, he said, I can tell you things which he said are going to happen, and they've happened. That's how we know he's the messenger yeah, I, of Allah. I just told you that I'm, I'm yeah. a witness. I'm a witness right yeah. now. Yeah, but I'm, I'm a witness on the But what on, on have you witnessed? Christ. But what have you witnessed? Witness everything. I, I witness him every every day, unseal the book. Nobody can unseal the book like him. What book? And break down but what the book? parables, the scriptures, even the um the Quran. Okay, okay. He breaks it all down. Okay. L let me make myself clear. You're saying that he is the prophet, the living prophet on this earth, the vessel. I'm telling you, he's okay. a prophet. And I'm asking you for some textual evidence from the Bible. And you're telling me he can break it down. So obviously you're his student or his no, follower. No, no, I'm his student. What I, would I, you I call witness. it? I, okay, I you're, see, you're his I witness. Know you're he's his living Christ. Okay, you know and you're his witness. So I'm asking you, I'm asking you to demonstrate to me what you have seen from him. But I'm trying to explain to you, my brother. He's breaking down the scriptures. So, so he's show me. He's breaking down the scriptures. Okay, give me he's a scripture that he broke down and that proves that he's he, a prophet. He breaks down all the scriptures. Give me one then. Well, let's just say Romans 3, 4, let every man be a liar. You know, what, what, what does that mean to you? When you hear that scripture, what does that mean to you, let every man be a liar? Shall I tell you what it means to me? Is yeah. that a question? That means to me, Romans was a letter written by Paul. Okay, let me finish. If you, if you are, I, I, I did ask you, can I answer? So you're going to tell me, you, you, I'm going I'm, 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 no, I'm to tell says, you. If it says, I let every man be a liar, what, what, what? Let me tell you, let me tell you, Paul, is someone who never met Jesus. He never walked with Jesus. He claimed to see him in a vision. So for me, Paul has no authority. Okay, so, yeah. so basically what man is doing, they're picking and choosing what's right in the Bible and using it to their own benefit, basically. Question? Can I'm, I? I'm, I'm, I'm asking, because that's what you're, you, you, no, you're no. now breaking down that scripture yeah. for me. And the funny thing is, Revelations 5, um, I can't remember actually, Revelations 5.3, only the chosen one can unseal the book. So what you're doing now, you're now the trying to unseal the book by no, no, telling me no, no. when the, it says the, let every man be a liar mm, and let God be true, you're now telling me uh -huh. that's incorrect no, because Paul the, came... Yeah, Paul has no authority for me. Okay. And even the book of Revelations, you know the book of Revelations was written by a man called John. But no one knows anything more about him. And it's John, he had a dream or a vision and he wrote this down. But who's John? Who's John that I should take him as an authority? Maybe you don't need to take John as a authority, but, but as a witness coming to you and telling you the living Christ is on earth, yeah. and all leaders need to gather to this one vessel, uh -huh. because all religion is leading yeah. the people astray. Uh -huh. You know, all religion is um, leading the people, and I don't know where they're leading the people to. It's still a claim. 
It's all a claim, but you no, need no, this, when, this, when you when you have a claim, you need to back you need to back it up with evidence. No, but it says in the book, yeah, the people will ask for a sign, and a uh -huh. sign will not be given. Uh -huh. So I I just have my living eyes to testify. No, that no, I'm your book says your Christ. book says prove all things. So I'm asking you for proof, and you're saying that you've seen it. You're a witness, and I'm saying show it me. He's opened the book. He's opened the verses, and you quoted Romans, well, which is written by Paul who doesn't have authority for me. You, you quoted revelations. See, the thing is, look, the Prophet Muhammad came 1,400 years ago. He came with the Quran. The Quran... Where's the evidence of that? Have you got dates and... Oh. Are we, are, yes, we'll, we'll go there, we'll go there. Okay, the Quran. So you got dates for that? Yes, yes. And evidence? Have you yes. got evidence? Because you're asking me for evidence. Have you got evidence for me? Yes. Okay, firstly... Where's the evidence? I'm going to come. Okay. Okay. Firstly, the Quran itself, it introduces itself as the speech of Allah. The Quran begins chapter 2 by saying, This is a book in which there is no doubt, a guidance for mankind. When was the Quran sent down? Chapter 2, verse 180, uh, 185. Ramadan Quran, Quran. This, the, the month of Ramadan, Shahr Ramadan, the Quran was sent down. It's a guidance for mankind and a criterion to, to distinguish between right and wrong. So the Quran is telling you when it was sent down, who it was sent down upon, upon the Prophet Muhammad. It was brought down by the angel Gabriel. Tanzeel al Rabbil Alameen, sent down from the Lord of all that exists. And then the Quran, it makes certain challenges to mankind. Okay, to bring something like the Quran, this challenge hasn't been met. The Quran says, "Walakad yasan al Quran li dhikri wa hal min mudakir." We have made the Quran easy to memorize. Is there anyone who's going to memorize it? You know, hundreds of thousands of people they memorize the whole Quran. You can't bring any other book on the face of the earth which has been preserved and protected and memorized like the Quran. Lastly, the Quran mentions chapter 15, verse 9: "Inna nahnu inna nahnu nazalna dhikra wa inna lahu lhaafidun." Verily, we, Allah, the majestic we, have sent down the reminder and we will protect it. So by the fact that the Qur'an has been memorized, it's been protected, it makes it clear it's the book of Allah, it makes it clear it was sent down on the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu brought down by the angel Gabriel. This is the book of guidance for all mankind. This is the only way you can be successful in this life is to worship Allah alone and follow his final messenger, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu Sorry. Yeah, but what yeah, I'm but, saying yeah. is that what are you doing for the people? In what in what way? In the sense of where are you guiding the people? To the worship of the of the Creator, Allah alone. This was the same thing so which should, which so Noah called to, the same thing which Moses called to, the same thing which Abraham called to, the same thing which Jesus called to, to worship the one true God. Because this life is short, we're going to go back to our Creator and we're going to be judged. You know what, you just said something important there. You just said about Moses, you, you mentioned prophets. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Where is the prophet right now? Because you've just mentioned prophets to me. So where okay. is the prophet right now? All of the messengers. Not a book, okay. yeah, a messenger. Where is all that of the one right All now? of the messengers were human beings. Okay, they were born, they became hungry, they became tired. And they died, they became sick, they died. So the Prophet Muhammad as I've already said, he, he has died. Verily, you will die and they will die. The same way we will all die. Allah mentioned That Allah has created death and life in order to test us. Who performs, the right, who performs righteous deeds? So this life is a test. So the fact that the Prophet Muhammad has passed away, it doesn't affect the fact that all his teachings are available. Like, what did he believe in? How did he worship? How did he pray? How did he give charity? How did he treat his wives? How did he treat the children? How did he fight battles? How did he make peace? All of these teachings are available and preserved. So we, we can worship the Creator according to how the Messenger taught. But there was always a prophet doing something in the land. There was always that one prophet. What? So this, this prophet, you say he's a prophet? Yeah. He appeared what? He announced himself how long no, ago? We have a petition. He has a petition to judge the Roman Catholic Church 
Because I don't know if you know, they're the ones that govern all religion. No, no, but this this person, when did he re when did he announce himself? When did he make himself open? Um, I believe about six years ago. Okay, I think I think that's about right. About six years ago. So seven years ago, who was it? Seven years ago, we, we didn't have we didn't have a prophet seven years ago because the only prophet that's but, but you're saying but you're the saying only, there you're saying there has to be a vessel at all times. Yeah, there had there's all, there was history. So who who books. was it who was it before him? Well, I wasn't there to witness that. I'm here to witness it now. I mean, is it not recorded? Recorded. Yeah. But the books is, is a prophecy book. Yeah. It's a prophecy about what will happen. Yeah. So it's and has, now. it teaches what has happened, isn't it? Like it teaches mm. you about Moses, teaches you about coming no, out of Egypt. It's a prophecy book. Yeah. So these things didn't happen the way people believe it happened. No, no, but you have no evidence. You, you're, there's no dates in the Bible. You're putting down that. You're putting down that a vessel, a prophet, should always be alive on the earth. And well, I, well, I'm, well, I'm, I'm who, who, who did the people go to? And I'm and I'm demonstrating to you that before so are you this. So the prophet? No. No. So, so, so how no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm demonstrating you to you that this person, this person you're following, no, I'm, before him, you don't, or, or you, the person you are witnessing to, you don't know who is before him. So you're conditioned that there's why, always going to be someone. Why are we worried about uh -huh. before? We're, we're talking about right now. And no, here. no, because I'm establishing that your point I, I is incorrect. How can your, my your point, point be that, incorrect? Your point was there's always going to be a vessel, there's always going to be a prophet. So this one has been around for maybe six, seven, eight years. But before that, who was it? Before that, we didn't have a prophet. Okay, so there's not always got for us since the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was sent oh, as the last Muhammad messenger. Dead for how long? One thousand four hundred approximately years. So, so, so but, he, but, but he's the last messenger, so his message has to be followed. But, but that's a lie yeah. because I'm telling you that the messenger is here right now and it's Yajju Judah. But, and one thousand years ago. But you can't prove that. 1,000 years ago, me and you wasn't here uh -huh. to witness that this, this Muhammad that you talk about. Yeah, yeah, but you're, you're, you still have to show that he's a prophet. Like, where, where is it announced that he's going to come and this is going to be his name? What, what has he done to well, prove that he's like a prophet? He comes like a thief in the night. Uh -huh. He comes like a thief in the night. Christ comes like a thief in the night. And I'm, I'm the witness here telling you that Christ is on earth, walking the earth. Uh -huh. And as I said, we have a petition. Why don't you you? We have a petition to judge a Roman Catholic uh -huh. church, to unite the people. It's all about nation building. Uh -huh. And so all religion has to come to this one vessel. It was, uh -huh. it was always a way, just like how you're talking about Muhammad, Moses, whatever. Okay. There was always that one vessel. So okay. that one vessel right so, now... So show, me, so show me where your book says that, that there is one vessel and it has to come through him. Like you have to demonstrate it, you understand that? Oh, come on, brother. I uh -huh. can't quote scripture, but uh -huh. you know this. I don't, the way I don't. You know this, in the Bible it tells uh -huh. you the only way to God is through Christ. That's the whole point of Christ. Because if we could all go direct to God, we wouldn't need Christ. Uh -huh. So it's common sense that we would have to find that one vessel uh -huh. to get to God. No, no, no. See, as a Muslim, I'm with you. As a, as a Muslim, when the Bi firstly, we don't accept the, the Bible as a preserved revelation from God. The Bible is, the New Testament is 27 books written in Greek after Jesus, okay? That's a reality. Let me finish, let me finish. When you say that Jesus is the way, as Muslims, we believe all the messengers were the way. So the people of their time have to follow that messenger. So Quran is the messenger le today. Let now. me tell you, let me tell you. The Quran. No, I'm going to tell you is Yaju Judah, but what are you going to tell me? I'm going to tell you. Can you show me? As, as I've already told you, the Quran mentions in chapter 3. Kul, in kuntum tuhibboon Allah, fattabi'uni yahbibkum Allah wa yakfir lakum dhunubakum. Wallahu ghafur rahim. Kul ati Allah wa rasul. Fa in tawalla fa inna Allah la yahibbu al-kafirin. I'm going to translate it. The Quran says, this is a challenge to all mankind. Say, if you love Allah, the one true God, then follow the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. How can you once, follow something you can't see? Once you follow the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, let me finish. Once you follow the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then Allah will love you and forgive your sins. Then it mentions, obey Allah and obey his messenger. And whoever turns away, then Allah does not love the disbelievers. As for not following someone, do you not know before this person you claim to be a prophet? No, okay. the person that I know to be a prophet, you are Okay, Judah. you claim. For me, it's only a claim. You, no, you may know you, it. I'm telling you what okay. I know. That okay, you're okay. That. But you can't prove it. You haven't demonstrated it, to my, according to me. Yeah, According to you, you're talking about a prophet that's been dead for a thousand years. But now why was I'm saying where but, is the, the but, walking living okay. prophet now? Where, and I'm showing where, you where was, Judah, okay. and but, you don't want to accept one, that. But one year before he came, where was the prophet? You're talking about one year. What, yeah. what does that matter? One uh -huh. year before he came. So you haven't proved that he's a prophet. 
yeah. brother, if I'm showing you that the Christ, the living Christ, is Yaju Judah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I'm telling you, my brother, uh -huh. yeah, that Christ is walking the earth. Yeah. And you're telling me about Muhammad 1,000 years ago. Yeah. You wasn't there, I wasn't there. Yeah. But his, te no, but wait, his wait, teachings wait, wait, are preserved. Wait, wait, you're telling yeah. me that you're not even a messenger. Uh -huh. So if you're not a messenger and you're telling me 1,000 uh -huh. years ago your messenger was here, yes. what are you not doing out talking to the people right now? Okay, we are conveying the message that he left us with. We are conveying the Quran. Allah says, So warn the people or remind the people with the Quran, those who fear the threat. So the Quran, because the Prophet Muhammad is the last messenger and no messenger will come after him, it's upon all mankind to okay, follow him. You say no messenger will come. So yes. What, 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 so what happens then? What happens? What happens is that you go out, you uh, Muslims go out and Religion goes out and starts preaching to the people that there's no prophet coming. Uh, uh, and yes, as, as it's happening and as, so as what you would know... Be, what, 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 what would be yeah. the point of a religion if your prophet's not coming? What would be the point of the whole setup? This is what I don't understand. Question. I'm going to answer you. The point of the religion is very clear. Allah said, I did not create jinn, which is a separate creation, and mankind except to worship me. We have been created to worship our Allah and the only way we can worship our Allah in his oneness according to his names and attributes is by following the Quran and his final messenger. The teachings of the Prophet Muhammad are here and preserved. How did he pray? How did he walk? How did he sit? How did he marry? How did he okay. divorce? It's all there for, so, so, for me so, to follow and you to so follow. what is your organization doing for the people? Like what, what is your organization doing for the people? that's living in this real time now that's suffering. Okay, Islam is a perfect way of life. Islam no, teaches- No, 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 you can't say Islam is a perfect way of life because I'm talking about the world and there's a lot of people suffering, Muslims, all types of people. Yes. So I'm asking, what is your organization doing for the world? What is the plan? The plan is, look, you know, life is a test. You know, you know yeah. Christ has got a plan. You know, well, Christ would have a plan, innit? If he was on earth right now, what, what, what do you think his plan would be? Okay. Maybe, maybe judge, I'm, I'm, maybe judge gonna, the Roman no, Catholic Church. No, I'm yeah. going to tell you. I'm so, going to tell you. So don't the Roman Catholic I'm Church. Gonna I'm going to tell you. Ain't they the top boys that's controlling this? I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. According to the the Hadith, the statements of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Jesus will return. Okay. Are you with you, me? Correct. He, 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 he will return. You're right. You see, when, see we're when, getting somewhere. But okay. you just said, you I'm, said, you said that the Prophet Muhammad or something. He said that that's the last prophet. Yes. He's now the last you're prophet, saying, last now messenger. you're saying yes. that Jesus will return. Yes. Now I'm telling you, your Juju that is the living Christ. Okay. Now I will what is your claim? Okay. Let me finish. Okay. According to the the preserved words of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Jesus, the son of Mary, when he returns. He will return between the two minarets of the White Mosque in Damascus. That's where he will return. When he returns, he will do five things. So okay. wait a minute. Wait, whoa, whoa. He will do five now things. Now he is returning. He will return, yes. But you claim that he, the but last you, prophet was Muhammad. Yes. So. But you haven't I'm let confused. me finish. Don't worry. I, if you're sincere because and I'm you listen, you, I'm going to take you out of okay, your confusion. Okay, okay. okay. When Jesus comes back again, okay. He will descend between the two minarets of the White Mosque in Damascus. He will do five things. He will kill the Antichrist. He will break the cross because this cross that he died... Antichrist is religion? No. Antichrist is a, is a person. So, so, so why does he... So who is he coming to destroy? Who is this Le, let Jesus me, coming to... Let, no, me, I just want to know. let me finish. The person, the Antichrist, the person who will so claim is, to be the Christ. Where is the Antichrist? He will come. He will come in the place oh, so in the Palestine. Antichrist is not here yet? No. No. So if the Antichrist is not here, no, yeah. why, you, you know, you, you why know, is no, why you know, is why is Christ young man, coming? Young man, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish the question you answered and let me finish what I'm saying and then you can that maybe you can understand more of it and then you can reply. He will kill the Antichrist. He will break the cross. I've got five things to tell you. He will break the cross. Because this idea that God came down in the form of a man or Jesus died for the sins of mankind is falsehood. Jesus never taught this. He will break the cross. He will kill the swine. This idea that Christians, they don't have, they didn't have to follow the law, they can eat whatever they want is false. He will rule by Islam. He will rule by the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He will rule the earth by this. And lastly, he will do away with a thing which is called the jizya. When Jesus comes, people have two choices. 
Islam or war. And this is also what Christianity brother, teaches. Brother, I'm against, listen, yeah. I don't really get into the stories. Yeah. Christ is here on earth. This is the fact. Yeah. Uh -huh. He has a petition to judge the Roman Catholic Church. All these leaders, yeah. religion, they need to come under Yaju Judah. Not possible. The, yeah, that, that's the one living vessel. But you have to prove that. Like, for, for example, you know Jesus. When Jesus walked the earth, okay. Jesus performed. Was when you there? He performed. Where's the proof to that? The Quran. The Quran is my proof. The speech of Allah. Jesus, when he walked the earth, he performed miracles to, no, show, to, sh to, to show that he was sent by God, no problem. Moses, when he was on earth, he showed miracles to show that he was sent by God, okay? The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he showed miracles that That's he was sent by God. So this person, uh, sorry. Ya Ju Judah, the living Christ. Ya Ju, Ya? Ya Ju Judah. Ya Ju Judah. What is his miracles? What is his proof that he's a messenger? He's unsealing a book. He's uh, unsealing a book. He's, um, he, he's revealing the parables of the Bible, the prophecy. He's, um, According to you, petition. but I'm got, asking you to demonstrate one. I, I'm telling you, he, he's opened uh -huh. up my eyes to the lies. I'm free. Uh -huh. You know, okay. the truth sets you free. So, so show me something which he's shown you, which you didn't know before. Everything. Everything. He's showing me no, that no, religion. I'm... He's showing me the religion. Okay, if it's how, everything, how show religion, me. How the religion is uh -huh. blocking the mm. people from going to God because there was always one vessel and that vessel is him. Uh -huh. And until all religion is brought down, uh -huh. the people will be able to see that Yah Juju that is the living Christ. So he, he, he showed me that. He showed me that. How, how, not... how, how did he show you that? Well, it's, it's a fact. I can see that. I, 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 I could see before even Christ came see, that see, see, religion look, was not doing see, nothing see, for the people. See, look, see, look. You, can re you can repeat things and you can keep saying it and you can keep asserting it. But I'm asking you to demonstrate it. Like, for example, let me show you something. Islam. Okay, Islam teaches. But brother, I'm going I'm I'm to tell you what it does okay. for the people. Islam teaches the interest is forbidden. Okay? Islam teaches that alcohol is forbidden. Islam teaches that adultery yeah, is, is forbidden. Okay? So this answers many of the problems of society today. The reason why you have uh, third world debt, the reason why you have poverty in the world is mostly because people are controlled by debt based on interest. Islam, when Islam ruled, okay, when Islam ruled, we didn't have these problems. The problem is that the Muslims, they became weak and they didn't hold on to their religion as they should. But once they did, like for example, the Prophet, the Quran mentions, okay. He is the one who sent his messenger with the true guidance and the true religion, the true way of life to make it dominant over all other, all other religions, all other ways of life, even if the idol worshippers, they detest it. When the Muslims, they took this message, the Quran and the Sunnah, they followed the Quran and they followed the teaching of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they, 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 in his 23 year lifetime, before he said, do you believe the devil deceived the whole world? No, not the whole world. Not the whole world. Just not no, you. Those, no, those people who are not sincere are deceived. But I'm going to demonstrate this, that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Muslims, when they held on to Islam, they dominated all other ways of life. 23 years the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was alive as a prophet. Before he died, the whole Arabian Peninsula came under Islam. After he died, within the, the 40 years of him dying, or the first 30 years of him dying, the Persian Empire was destroyed. The Byzantine Empire was destroyed. And Islam ruled under one government, according to the laws of Allah, from that time until they became weak. So uh, this, is, this is something which Allah said would happen. This is something which happened from the followers of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu And this is sufficient evidence that he's the messenger of Allah. Okay. And his teachings are still here to this day. So okay. your person, uh, Ja Juju, six years, okay. what has he done? Okay, so... What has he done? So, as what I has say, he done? Apart from open your eyes. He's opened my eyes. That's to, why, that's why but, I'm but here prove trying it, demonstrate. to open, I'm trying to open your eyes. To what because, though? Because but, you're, but, you're, but you're not demonstrating he's, he's, anything. No, he's, he's given the truth. But he's this revealed, is... He's revealed the truth. You know when we no, talk but, to Christians, but, but, no, they will say about, I feel no, 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 it, but, I experience no, 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 no. it. Yeah, of I got I the Holy it. Spirit, but, but listen, I'm asking you to demonstrate it. The, I'm, I'm Black trying, and white, paper. Brother, I'm trying to give you the demonstration, but you're not listening. Okay, I'll be quiet. I'm trying to say he's given the truth. He's opening up the book, because he's the only one that can open up the book. He's revealing the prophecies. 
He's revealing everything. He's revealing the prophecies. What prophecy he, he, did he reveal? Wait, he's, he's judging the Roman Catholic Church. How which, is he judging? No religion. How is he judging? No one that? is doing that. How is and he judging? They're the that? ones that control the system. Okay. That's oppressing the people. Let's 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 take two claims. You said, you said that he's revealing prophecies. What prophecy? What what thing is he? The whole prophecy. Okay. The whole what, book. Okay, give me an example of one. You can't just say he's done it, he's done it, he's done it, he's done it. And I'm saying show me and you're saying, but he's done it, he's done it. Give me one prophecy where he said this is going to happen. And as he said it's going to happen, it happened. Okay, so right now he's being crucified by the people. I'm witnessing that too. He's being crucified. No, no, he's but you're not, you're, not witnessing, you're not witnessing because you said it's spiritual. How are you, you know, crucifixion is yeah, but the when word a becomes, person... The word, the word becomes flesh. So Christ is flesh. So I'm witnessing what Christ is going through now. So, so this man, Jared Juju, is, is being evidence. crucified now. Where is he being crucified? Spiritually. No, no, where? You're, but being, what are you, what are you witnessing? All, all, all over social uh, media. He's okay. being backstabbed. People are talking about him. They're killing his information. They're no, saying, no, he's not a problem. Just like what you're, that, you're doing but now. That, but that's you're not, saying, but that's not crucified. Saying, that's not crucified him, is it? Of course it is, because he's killing the information. Do you know now, what you, you, crucifixion is? You think you think that he needs to be put up on a cross But that's what crucifixion is. That's what crucifixion now, come is. On, brother, that would that would never happen in this time, in this day and age. Do you think we would let a man, whether all religions would come together for that? We would let a man uh, me, be I crucified. Me, I wouldn't come together for exactly that. that. But so you would let a man be crucified? A false prophet, yeah, no problem. But you're, no, the thing is, you you said it's happening, and I'm asking you, where is it happening? I'm, I'm, and you're saying it's you, not happening. I'm telling you, but and, you, you don't and, now, and now you're saying it can't no, happen. You know what it is. It can't. You, 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 you said it's happening, and now you said it can't no, happen. You understand? You, 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 you to, said no, it's happening, and then you said it can't happen. No, but you, you just said it, it can't happen. You said it can't happen because everyone would come together and no, stop I it. No, I said, I said. It can't happen no, physically. No, the physical, that okay. physical. So it's not happening. That's not going to happen. And nobody would allow that to happen. Uh -huh. The people would come together and they wouldn't, that, come on, that wouldn't happen. This can, day can, I, can I tell you that I'm 50 foot off the ground, f spiritually? But you're not though. I'm witnessing with my eyes. Why? Because you're, you're witnessing my spiritually, I mean physically, but not spiritually. Yeah, but the word becomes flesh. No, but, but so therefore... So Christ is flesh. So Christ is on the earth So, so therefore, now. if you're saying he's being crucified... No, I'm, I, no you asked me uh, to show you. I'm telling you okay. how he's being crucified. Uh, but you don't want to hear because you've got this vated imagination that he uh, should be hung up a, on a cross and that's crucifixion. But that's what so the word means. You know, word, different. You, language, so language and words have meaning. Correct. Yeah. And the only way you was going to get the correct meaning was yeah. by going to that living prophet, which uh -huh. is Yadu Judah. Uh -huh. Now, you've just claimed that you're not a living prophet. So I'm here as your brother trying no, to no, tell I'm, you that... I'm not a prophet. No, I'm not a messenger. Yeah, so, so I didn't I'm receive here, revelation. I'm, so I'm here the angel your, Gabriel never I'm came to me. I'm here as a witness yeah. and your brother yeah. telling but you, you what you're doing. But you're just... You're, what you need to do yeah. is come to Yadu Judah. All the leaders, uh -huh. all religion, because you're going to fall. Religion's going to fall anyway. So all the leaders need to come out of what they're doing because they're not working on behalf of God. Only Christ is going to know what to do. This man, so, what has he done? What has he conquered? You keep asking me what he's conquered. He's going through his yeah. crucifixion right now. So when but he's... When, when he's he's gone through his crucifixion, but he's not being crucified. Yeah, because because he, no one would allow no, that to no, happen. Because he, when he's risen, it's spiritual. When he's risen, all uh. eyes will see. So right now, you can't see. But I'm just a witness showing you that this is the living Christ. You need to stop talking to the people on behalf of God because there's one, media, one mediator between man and God, and that's Yadu Judah. Where does it say that? I mean, it says that in the scriptures. That the, no, the, no the, Bi the Bible says, the Bible says, according to Paul, which I don't accept, but it says there is one mediator between God and man, and that so is who Jesus. Is that? Who is that and media? that's Jesus. Are you saying that this ja Jesus Juju is, the title. is Jesus? Jesus is the title. Right now, who told that you Jesus who that told you're you looking for who told would be you? your Juju. Who, who told you it's a title? Because the, the, the according, the according, to, the, the according to the Bible, Revelation according to the Bible, three. in Luke, it says that the angel announced to Mary, you're going to have a son who will be called Jesus. According to the Bible, I, I don't accept it, but the angels has announced to, to Mary, she's going to have a son called Jesus. And you're saying that that's not his name, yeah, but it's a title. title. Because, because Moses Where, was a Jesus, uh, Noah was a Jesus. Where does it say that? Where does it say in the Bible that Moses was a Jesus? No, but he was the, he was the prophet. He was the one. No, no, the, pro, wait, no prophet wait, is different. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You're making claims. When they went, when, but you they, know when, you when the flood was happening, what yeah. was Noah doing? That he was going out, gathering the people, letting them know he's got the message from the Creator that we need to get on the ark. Correct. Correct. I'm Correct? with you. Yes. So, so, so he the worship one so, true so God. He yes. Would have been, he would have been that one prophet at that time. Yes, a messenger, a prophet, uh, but, correct, but not correct, Jesus. Correct, correct. But not Jesus. Yeah, uh, well, not Jesus, because Yah Jew Judah is the living Christ, but the Jesus you're looking for is in the book. That's just a title. No, it's not a title, it's a name. According to the Bible, 
he will be called no, but that's Jesus. What you say. That's what you say. So, so show me different. Well, show me from the book. You'd, you'd have to go to Christ, the living Christ, Yah Ju Judah. But you're here on behalf of him. You're, yeah, you're, I, I'm, you're I'm trying. Witness. You're trying to convince me no, of something. No, I'm, I'm not trying anything. I'm telling you the you, truth. You know what you're doing. Like I'll tell you, what you're doing is. He's telling you the uh, truth. Let me give you an example. You're in a court, and the judge is there, and they've called you as a witness, and the judge is asking you, or the prosecutor or the defense is asking you what happened, and you said, "I'm a witness. I saw it. I'm a witness." And yeah. they're saying, "And they're saying, what did you see?" And you're saying, "I, I, I told you. To you I told you I'm a witness. I, I told you." I explained to you that he's, he's unsealed you, in a book. But you said you but said you, Moses you, you, was Jesus, and Jesus is a title. So I'm saying to you, show me that from your book. No, I said no because I said yeah. Christ revealed these things. Remember. So where did he reveal it? Where did he reveal it? In the yeah. book. Only he so can show, open up the book. So oh, show no, me no, then. No, I don't open up the book. Only uh, Christ can open up the book. So that's, you, that's another point that you so need to realize. So, so, that. You, so you have a message which you, you are unable to convey? No, because I've I, told I, you. I, I've told I, I, you, I reject you and your message. Well, I know you do. Regardless, you reject it. Yeah, Even if yeah. I open up the book, you're going to uh, reject the message. But my job is to free, tell you, my job is to tell you the truth. Feel free to open it. the truth. But you haven't showed it. You're just repeating yourself. I have the truth. Yeah, I'm, I'm a witness. The I'm the truth. I'm a witness. I have but to, you haven't I, demonstrated anything. I have to repeat anything. the truth yeah. until you get it. Because, so, because, because, just like what you said. I'm going to leave it here. Just like what you said. Make your, your last prophet, point. Your, prof yeah. your prophet is not coming, but yeah. then you said when Jesus does come. Yes. So, you as, know. As, you, uh, what, but you, why you, does you the, messed up there already? Uh, there's no mess up. That's the reality. It's going to happen. But you, you so, said Muhammad is not coming, no. and then you said Jesus is coming. Yes. But that doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to you. Why not? No, because how can a, Muhammad be the last prophet? Then you said Jesus is coming. Jesus is going to come with the teachings of the prophet Muhammad. He's going to follow the prophet Correct. Muhammad. Correct, you are Jew Judah. Yes. Anyway. But anyway, brother, it's been nice building with you. Sorry, what's your name? I should have asked first. You are Jew Saint UK. May Allah guide us all. Peace, peace. Anyway, thank you for your time.